I read the uh, statement. My brother called me last night. It's a true story. He has a lawn service in Berkeley, and he wants me to change my name. <laughs> or pay for him to change his. Okay, thank you all so much for coming. It's great to see all of you out here. It's the middle of August. It's obviously hot today. Lots of folks are on vacation, including our Congress and our Michigan uh, legislators. And yet, we're all here. Our group today may be relatively small, although we had a pretty good group here today, obviously. But it's mighty. We're here to release a brand new report on the true cost of the war in Iraq and show how this unwinnable civil war is robbing our community of much needed resources. We're calling on our members of Congress, Senator Levin, Senator, Senator Stabenow, Congressman Nolenberg, to vote to end the war in September. As you'll see in the report you have, this war has a direct financial impact on the taxpayers of the 9th Congressional District. Our country is spending over $275 million every day on the war in Iraq, which is an average of $4,100 for every American household. Here in Michigan's 9th Congressional District, taxpayers are having, are having to pay $1.16 billion to continue the war in Iraq. Statewide, we're paying $12.12 billion. To help wrap your mind around what that means, here's some more information. The money we're spending on the war could instead be used to pay for health care for 400,360 400, people or 796,213 children. Head start for 174,639 additional children, 9,390 affordable housing units, 25,187 public safety officers to keep our streets safe. There's more information on the impact of the war in Iraq in the report, the terrible trade-off, the broken promises, and the failed policies that got us to this point. This is information that our friends and neighbors need to know. After this press conference, we'll deliver the report directly to our member of Congress and to any media outlets that aren't here. I interviewed a young woman last night. She's 25 years old. At 22, she contracted cervical cancer, and she uh, tried to get that paid for by her insurance company, and she was told that she, her surgery, which was $5,000 out of her pocket, would not be covered because that surgery could only be covered when she became 26. How stupid is that? And she's been paying off that $5,000 debt, $5 a month, and she still owes over uh, $3,500. Obviously, health care is better than warfare. It just breaks my heart to think there are 796,213 children who could have health insurance but don't because our president insists on dumping billions of dollars into a religious war that can't be won. We've got pressing priorities here at home, and instead of meeting them, the Bush administration and Joe Nolenberg are pouring resources into the Iraq quagmire. It's time for our elected officials in Congress to take a stand against this madness and vote to bring our troops home now. Thank you very much. No more war! 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 No more You got me? Joe Nolan. Yeah, I'm going to go at 1 o'clock. Uh, I can't go until 1, but I'm going to go at 1. I'll see you there. All right. Bring the check. Yeah, I'm going to bring the check. Yeah. And the report. Uh, Julianne? Yeah.